Big fight, August the 6th. The Battle of the Unbeatens. A uh, good welterweight fight between Virgil Ortiz, the unbeaten Virgil Ortiz. Very, very dangerous. And Britain's very own Michael Mickinson. Let's get the American view on this. We roped in Sergio Moro, the Latin snake, to look ahead to this big one. Uh, Sergio, what chance do you give Michael Mickinson? You know, he's a problem. We know that. And he's undefeated. He's very, very confident in his ability. And he makes fights very ugly. But against Virgil Ortiz, a monster, a Texan fighting in Texas with Texas judges and Texas fans, the problem McKinson's going to need a little bit more than just being cute and looking for the pot shots. He's going to have to get the respect of Virgil Ortiz. And I just think the power's going to be too much. Everything's going to be against McKinson. He's going to have to get respect. I just don't see it happening on this, on this level. But that's why we're here. That's why we're here, Addy. I want to see it. Yeah, look, and, and he might deliver, right? An unbeaten fighter doesn't think they can get beaten. What did you make of his performance? This is Mickinson last time out against Alex Martin. Yes, last minute replacement, but I know that you were you were quite critical of the performance. I don't even think you thought Mickinson won, did you? Uh, look, I was critical of Mickinson, but I also was critical on Alex Martin. They were, they were both southpaws, right? They were both southpaws that don't, they're not volume punchers. They look for the right shot. They're, they're, they're high percentage landing, but they don't throw a lot of punches. So it was, I hate, you know, I never like to use the word boring because I was, I was a fighter that was called boring many times, but you do want to try to win. You do want to try to look somewhat exciting and look for the right opportunities to do that. Neither fighter did that. McKinson squeaked out a victory. That type of style is not fun to watch, but can he do it? and repeat it against Virgil Ortiz, and can he win for Texas judges? I just, I don't see it happening. Are there some questions about Virgil Ortiz? Look, this fight was supposed to take place in March. He pulled out for whatever reason. Some say the weight, some say other health issues. He's a very big 147 pounder, but he's not fought for a year. The last time we saw Virgil Ortiz in the ring was against Cavi Alaskas. That was a whole year ago. Are there some question marks? Are there concerns? With a, yes, I believe there is inactivity. The fact that he was dealing with with uh, sickness, uh, the fact that in his last fight with Kavalaskas, he got rocked in his last fight. So these are all recipes of, of you know, if something's gonna go bad, it can look bad, especially when when it comes to a, a cute, difficult style in a southpaw like McKinson. So that that could be the perfect storm for an upset. Styles make fights, Addy. And look, I don't want to go from from saying McKinson's not enough doesn't have enough, enough to beat Virgil Ortiz, but he can't make him look bad. If he can get some, some judges to score some ugly rounds in his favor, he might be able to pull off an upset in a victory. But it's, it's something that we have to see. Can he do it against a monster like Virgil Ortiz? Yeah, you look Let's at see. Mickinson's record, and look, the one thing that does, I guess, stand out, it's glaringly obvious, is that he doesn't have the punch, right? You look at the knockouts and there's no punch, and you almost feel like to get the respect of Virgil Ortiz, he's got to dent him. Because Virgil Ortiz, I think we've seen in his recent fights, will just keep on coming and marching forward. Is that a problem for Mickinson, that he doesn't have the punch to really keep Virgil Ortiz off? I was also a fighter with not much power. So no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that as, as an excuse. If he can dig down to the body, not let Virgil Ortiz plant his feet to get off on that power, stay off the ropes, keep the fight in the middle of the ring. These are things that, that Mickinson does very well. Excellent, actually. And the fact that he brings up so much swagger and he does it from a left-handed stance, that even adds more to, to how difficult it is to look good against him and beat him. So he has the, the, the tools to make it look ugly, but are they gonna give him enough rounds to actually pull off a decision? That's the question. Yeah, no, and it's a big question as well. How do you think the fight plays out, Sergio? I know you never stick on the fence. What are you thinking, Virgil Ortiz stoppage? If he gets it, he's gonna get it late and he's gonna have to earn it. I think, uh, I, but I'm gonna go with uh, uh, McKinson losing a decision. I think he goes all the way. I think he's the first one to go the distance with Virgil Ortiz, and that's gonna be a notch on his feather. He may not win, but he's gonna be the first one to, to cross the finish line. You know, I, I was speaking to, I spoke to McKinson quite a lot recently, and I've said, look, even if you don't get the W, to go all the way with Virgil Ortiz to look good and get some rounds off Virgil Ortiz, it opens up doors for you in America for future fights. Wrong or right? Absolutely right, and that's why I like your, 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 your point of view here, and many, many point of views, but that's one of them. I'm with you on that one. It, it's a moral victory is what we call it over here in the States. Moral victory, if you can actually have that as a notch on your belt, I'm the first one to go the distance, won some rounds, made them look bad, maybe got the respect of a, of a beast like Ortiz, that's a notch and a feather on your hat. 
Uh, final thing, Sergio. We, the waterweight division's fantastic. Fingers crossed we get the big one. Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford. Where would you have Virgil Ortiz in sort of the top five or six waterweights? Is, is he a top five waterweight? Do you, do you have him above a Jaron Ennis, a, a Keith Thurman? Where do you have Virgil? I have him... Uh... I have him above Thurman, but not over Ennis. So the number four is where I'll comfortably put Virgil Ortiz in that in that loaded division. Yeah, hey, loaded division. Should be a good fight as well. Remember, August 6th, live on the zone from Texas. Battle of the Unbeatens. Someone's O has got to go. Virgil Ortiz, unbeaten, has stopped every single person he's fought. Takes on the very tricky southpaw. From Portsmouth, Michael Mickinson should be a cracking fight. A serious young fighter with an unblemished record. Ortiz Jr. I want to see Ortiz continue his destructive weight. Knockout number 18 with number 18. He has everything going from the power, the discipline, the destruction. And he can be a multi-division champion. Michael, the public, McKenzie. He's going to cause major problems for the team. Good shot there from McKinson. a very difficult opponent. Still undefeated. His power versus the club. Michael McKinson has a style that is difficult for anyone. Does Ortiz have the solution? One of boxing's hottest prospects. Oh, the left hand drops him. Michael McKinson is ready to shock the world. Still undefeated.